In this video, we're going to be using Crown and Crane, Deep Ellum, and the Blackland Ear Eraser. Stay tuned. Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. As always, before we get into the content, a word from our sponsor, Leaf. This video is brought to you by our good friends at Leaf and you know I love Leaf products. I love using the Leaf, which you've seen me use many, many times on the channel. I also love using the Twig. You've seen that a lot on the channel as well. If you'd like to save 5%, Use discount code IMCDB right there and save 5% while shopping with the good folks at Leaf. And now, back to the video. And all right, we are back. And today, we're going to be using Crown and Crane Deep Ellum. And this is a very, very nice scent and a great So Crown and Crane is very well priced. It is $16.95 for 5 ounces. On a cost chart there, that is $3.39 an ounce, which is a good price. I got this at the Razor Company. By the way, and it's a very nice scent. I'm going to put the notes for you on the screen right there. We have smoky orange, violet, geranium, patchouli, musk, wood, some of the ingredients, and it just comes together beautifully. Scent strength is right around that medium level, and I find that I really love Crown and Crane scents. I am 10 for 10 buying Crown and Crane soaps with the scents, and I don't think that's ever happened. I think Liz at Crown and Crane has this ability to make scents that are that are very nice and I've never experienced one yet that's offensive. Like I like some better than others, but nothing offensive at all. This is a good quality soap. I'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. This is tallow based soap. It is easy to work with, well-priced, good stuff. And again, I bought this uh, at the Razor Company, which is where I've got most of the Crown and Crane offerings, but also Liz offers samples at her website. So check it out if you're interested in the samples. I found that I really like this brand. This is a sleeper brand that People are just warming up to, but I'm telling you, it is good stuff, and I look forward to using this today. I'll show you a lather shot right there. Silky, creamy goodness in that lather. What can you say about Crown and Crane that hasn't been said already, at least by me? It is really good stuff at a really good price. All right, the razor for today is the Blackland Era Razor, and I'm using the five plate. Uh, keep in mind that when this razor is going to be released, which is supposed to be sometime in 2021, so stay tuned for that. It's going to have 10 plate offerings. The razor will come with one, but you can choose from 10. So it'll have five plates in the safety bar, level one through five, and five um, plates in open comb, level one through five. And today we're using the five plate with the safety bar. And I found this razor to be a very smooth razor. And of course, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention this is the world's first uh, 3D printed slash CNC machined Razor. So the head is uh, 3D printed and CNC machined. The handle is just CNC machined. It is all stainless steel. That's where the hook is really. Not only is it 3D printed, but it is stainless steel. But I would say don't buy the razor for that reason. Uh, I just think it's a very nice, smooth shaver. And even on plate five, I don't find it to be remotely menacing. It's efficient, but it's not menacing. And it's a really uh, nice razor and I look forward to using it again today. The blade in there is Gillette Nasset. So enough battling. Let's get into it today. Let's start off by misting the face here. And by the way, don't forget tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern time on Instagram Live. We're going to do a giveaway show. So uh, make sure to uh, join us there and go back and watch the, the uh, announcement video where I'll pop it up here for you on how to pre-register for that giveaway because myself and TRC are partnering, partnering, excuse me, for some giveaways and that's going to be awesome. Today's brush is the AP Shaco Handcrafted Series, sort of a butterscotch sort of look to it. And I'm telling you what, this soap smells great. I really love it. And the lather is creamy goodness. I tell you, sometimes when you use these soaps and they're, you know, well under $20, it makes you wonder why you ever spend over 25. <laughs> and for me, there's only one answer for that scent um, because I will buy uh, soaps that are, you know, north of $20 only for scent. I never buy them on the basis of performance ever because for me, I don't gain any additional performance um, because I don't care anything about the post. You know, and I'll continue to repeat this. If you want oil of Olay skin properties, buy oil of Olay and use it. <laughs> but don't expect it from a shaving soap. You might get it, but don't expect it. So I say, you know, just buy whatever you like and use it. But for me personally, um, I don't find any need to ever spend above, you know, twenty dollars for for a shaving soap just to get a good shave. You know, that's just not necessary because 
there's so many lower cost offerings that will lather well, provide su supreme slickness, and will uh, lend themselves very well to the shape and they'll smell good too. But when I find a scent like, uh, I'll give you a good example, uh, Mammoth Kryptonite, I love that, or Mammoth Sonder, I will spend more in pursuit of a really good scent, just like you'd buy a nice, um, you know, perfume or cologne, you know, they're pricey. Same thing with shaving soaps. That is the only reason that I ever spend north of $20 on a shaving soap. It is never for performance because honestly, I find the uh, sort of diminishing returns to be a, a very real thing when you're spending a lot of money on a shaving soap, at least for me, for my use case. Now keep in mind your use case might be different and use case meaning if you're new, whatever it is that you're looking for in a soap, your skin, what, what um, works well for your skin and so on and so forth. So for me, products like Shannon's, Sterling, um, Crown and Crane, and many others that are well under that $20 mark, they hit the spot for me every time and give me everything I need performance-wise. Um, but I will buy some scents, buy some soaps for scent, because the scent and the aromatherapy is huge. All right, here we go with the era. It's been a week or so, maybe even longer, maybe two weeks since I've used this and it's feeling good. It's nice and smooth. That would really be the way I think I would characterize the era. And again, I know Shane was shooting for some time um, in 2021 to release this. There have been some production delays, but I hope he's not delayed. Uh, I hope he's able, able to get this out before year end, or at least the first batch. Um, we shall see, but I'm telling you, it is a nice, smooth shaver. That just feels really nice. And the Gillette and Acid in here is a really good fit for me. Then again, who am I kidding? The Gillette and Acid is a good fit for me in every single race. Again, I want to remind you, don't forget to check us out tonight live on Instagram, the giveaway. Uh, partnering with Jason from The Razor Company, who's a fantastic guy. I am so glad that Jason reached out to Liz from Crown and Crane to carry her soaps because I like them a lot. I was like, Jason, have you ever tried Crown and Crane? He's like, I will look into that. And he did. And Jason has been very good to um, listen and, you know, sort of take suggestions. Uh, now, obviously he can't do everything we want all the time, but he, he definitely listens and takes feedback, you know. Um, and Crown and Crane is one of those brands that, you know, I mentioned to him and there was another gentleman on uh, Instagram, I believe his name was Brian, if I'm not mistaken, uh, who put me on to Crown and Crane, and he sent a couple of samples, and I was like, hey, this is good stuff, and then I started buying them, and so I talked to Jason, and I was like, you gotta check these out, these are well-priced, they, they are, the scents are great, and um, the rest is history. Um, now you see Crown and Crane quite a bit more in people's hands, and to me, I don't think it's where it where it's tongue twisted. I don't think it's where it needs to be yet. I think more people should be trying this brand, quite frankly. But it will happen over time. It is definitely a sleeper brand, but I'm telling you, once people figure out that hey, this stuff is priced well, it lathers well, ease of use is very good. Unlike some of the other soaps where you really gotta finesse, you don't really have to worry about it with this soap, and that to me is awesome. Because I like just to come in here and. Sorry for that sniffle, by the way. Just uh, lather the soap and experience that wonderful scent. And that is just, for me, tremendous fun, relaxation. You know, that's what it's all about, enjoying yourself. The other day we had a fantastic Thanksgiving and I hope you and your families did as well, if you celebrate Thanksgiving. It was fantastic. Um, it was just one of those things that, uh, you know, it really, uh, for me, Lifted me up, had a great time, great food, and man, oh man, I love, I love these holidays like Thanksgiving and Christmas, and it's just, it's wonderful to be able to celebrate those things with, with family. Um, the only part I was missing was my wife because she was celebrating with her mother because her mother is quite ill as well with cancer, and so we've sort of had to split and celebrate those ho holidays uh, separately. And I just hope everybody will regain their health to the degree we can sometimes we can uh, once again celebrate together and hit both places you know but right now that's just not possible but had a great time 
uh, it was really wonderful. And I hope if you were celebrating that you all had a great time too. Remember, reach out there and grab it and embrace every minute, folks, because, uh, you know, you only get one crack at this. So try to make the best of it. And I certainly did uh, for Thanksgiving. I had a really fun, fun time. All right, let's get back to the shave because that's what we're here for. And again, I would say the, the, um, the era here, even with plate five is smooth in my mind. And, and I'm just, you know, I can't speak for you, obviously, but I think the only people that this razor may not be for that, like, it, it just might be a miss is people who want supreme aggression, like the most aggressive razor, because it's not that at least with the plates that are available today. It is efficient, but still, I would call it even on the five plate, I, th I still think it's in the realm of medium. And I don't think the five plate is necessarily even the far end of medium. I think it's somewhere within the just medium range generally. But what it is, it's very smooth and easy going. Like this is a, a razor you could use as a daily driver pretty easily, I think. Even with the five plate, I'm gonna just re-lather there and do a quick cross. Man, the scent on this is really nice. It's, uh, it's again, it, it's not super, it's got some brightness to it, but it, it's not like a, what you would call a fresh boy scent as DK would call it. It's just very nice and Crown and Crane just has so many great scents. I absolutely love the brand. And I'm hoping more people will discover it and, uh, and give it a shot and you might find that, hey, you know, this is a, a brand that pr provides a very good product at a very good price. And the scents are, like I said, I am 10 for 10. That has never happened. In all the years I've, doing, I've been doing this, I've never bought 10 soaps in a row from an artisan and I've liked every single scent. That's extremely unusual for me. <laughs> so needless, needless to say, I am a fan of Crown and Crane. And for me, it reminds me a lot of Shannon's insofar as a lot of people hadn't, hadn't necessarily discovered it. They are now. Um, and that's a great thing because it, it, it's a, it's a really good soap that's easy to work with. And she's not, uh, you know, charging you an arm and leg, you know, for the product, which is great as well. You know, we all like a good value, right? Or at least I do. Just because you have a lot of shaving gear doesn't mean you want to pay more for shaving gear. You know what I mean? Because some, some people will come along and they'll say, you know, this guy has, you know, over 2,000 videos using many, many different soaps and he's going to complain about a soap being $20. Well, you know, that's even more reason not to want to pay more, right? If you're buying that many, you know. And of course, I have the good fortune of some brands will send me things to try from time to time, which is awesome, but the vast majority of things I buy, you know. And so I want them to be good value, not only for me, but for you, you know, because I'm trying to spread the word, you know, and get more people in this hobby. And it's much easier when things are reasonably priced. It's much easier. All right, let's uh, do another. almost forgot to, to do a cross on this cheek. Man, man, this is a nice scent. Really like it a lot. I have not um, experienced any scent from uh, Crown and Crane that had any funk to it or off-putting uh, offensive type element. And again, I don't think that's ever happened to me with a brand. So this is the first time I've had a really good run with Crown and Crane. I'm thinking someday I might hit one I don't like, but so far, hadn't happened. So if you find yourself liking a lot of the scents that I like, or at least at least being averse to what I call funk, dirty or funky scents, um, Crown and Crane you might be safe with, or at least the ones I've picked, I've been very safe with. So you can check them out at the Razor Company or her website. Really nice. I ordered actually a couple more uh, from the Razor Company just recently because he, she uh, came out with a, a few new sense and she does have some inspired sense which I personally like a lot because you know what you're getting you know if you get a nice creed scent you know what that scent is when you get it you know you're not gonna have to struggle um, 
And I rather like that. Man, what a shave today. This has just been fun. The scent has been kicking in here. The razor is super smooth. And this, folks, is why we do it. <laughs> Number one is to enjoy it, you know. And this has been enjoyable. And as you can see, there's plenty of residual slickness. Um, residual slickness being that is still very slick without any visible lather being there. So that is fantastic. What a nice shave today. <laughs> Thank you for joining me, people. I really appreciate it. All right, let me rinse, and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back and off camera. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our Razor Rock Alum. There was no sting there, so that was a super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave following the alum. We did a cool water rinse, and then we towed off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. Uh, it also has aloe, really nice stuff. I tell you folks, I had an, I had an excellent shave today with Crown and Crane Deep Elm. Really nice scent, really nice quality, really nice price. If someone tells you you need to spend $25, $30 to get a good shave, I'm telling you, walk away because you don't need to. You might want to, to pursue a scent or to pursue certain elements within the soap for your skin. But in order to get a great shave, and you see it here every day, just watch the channel, go back and watch other videos. You see me do it every single day with a lot of soaps like this that are a great value. Don't sleep on them is my advice. We use the Blackland Era razor, which should be retailing hopefully sometime before the end of this year. It will be $75. Really, really nice. For me, even on plate five, it is nice and smooth. Um, for me, this really is a daily driver type of razor that would be easy going. Just find the plate you like and go with it. Really nice, and I hope to see this popping up uh, for sale soon because it really is a nice razor. The brush for today was the AP Shave Co. Um, handcrafted series brush with uh, Cashmere Knot, and it's riding in our Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug. Of course, we used our HCNC bowl, and we shall finish it out once again with Sterling Mountain Man. And I'm working my way through this, maybe by the new year. I don't know. I don't even know if I'll be finished with it by the new year at this rate, because it's, uh, it's, it's hanging around. It seems to be a bottomless aftershave, which is not a bad thing, is it? You know, to get a lot of use out of an aftershave, that's actually a great thing. Let's go for another round. Why not? Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate it. And remember, today, try to lift somebody up. Say something nice, especially if you see them struggling and saying nasty things to other people. Let's try to lift them up. Let's try to get them where they need to be so we can enjoy each other. And if we can't get them there, remember, we lift them up or we lift them out. They gotta go. They can't remain in here. We gotta keep our, we gotta keep our hobby clean and pristine. All right. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you joining me today. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, Show shape, do it your way, and as always, God bless.